Hey, I am Sean Harrison. I am an actor, and you may know me from a show called Family Matters, where I played a character named Waldo. Do you know his middle name? Do you know his last name? Waldo, Geraldo, Faldo. He knows it, but do you know it? Okay, you know it now. Well, as far as art goes, my first natural gifting is dance. So I started taking tap dance lessons when I was four years old. I also started being involved in acting workshops when I was four years old. But it took a while before I could actually become a decent actor. Uh, so from four till about the age of 10, I was trash and didn't understand the mechanics of acting. Whereas dance, like instantaneously, once I started uh, taking lessons, I just absorbed choreography and movement and stuff like that. So dance is really my first artistic expression. Well, to be honest with you, as far as what my creative voice is, I'm still exploring that and still trying to find it. Uh, as an actor, you, you grow so accustomed to being handed something to say, hey, you as a performer, can you morph into this particular thing that unless you just kind of know right off that there's something else very specific to you that others have not seen and you want to convey, it takes a while for all of that to sort of take shape. So I still feel like I'm exploring that voice because there's a part of you as an artist, if you will, that has to ring true about the nature of who you are. And then some of it, I believe, is a little bit of an embellishment of what people kind of know you for. And then bridging all of those pieces together so that it feels authentic and, and real. And as I said, I still feel like I'm exploring that because people associate me with the character was a little dim-witted. I'm not quite that in person. People expect me to be, I think, lively and friendly. Sometimes I'm not that, but sometimes I am because like most people, I wear a lot of different masks. So I can be up, I can be down, I can be moody, I can be temperamental. Uh, that informs my creative expression at times because sometimes I'm a little sarcastic and dry and then sometimes I'm a little over the top and zany. Uh, so I'm still, again, exploring, trying to find whatever that thing is, if it is a thing. I think sometimes people give me a little too much credit for the evolution of the Waldo character. To be honest, I was just the embodiment of what the writers and the producers had a vision of. When I first got on the show, uh, I was introduced as a bully's best friend. So there was a bully character named Willie, and the guest spot was that he had an issue with the Urkel character, and I was his flunky. And I think that the chemistry and the dynamic was interesting enough that they wanted to bring us back. So we did a second very memorable episode that everyone kind of calls the Urkel dance episode where we spiked the punch. That then changed into, well, we want to see a little bit more about this character. And so there was this thing that happened where after I was on the show, but the Willie character wasn't, how do you reposition this character that had been established in a different type of way? And so the first form of that was, I am now Eddie's friend. And as we all know, over the course of the seasons that I was on, I'm Eddie's best friend. I'm also friends to Steve, Laura. I have a girlfriend named Maxine that's on the show, and I become an integral part of the friend circle. But I did not have a hand <laughs> in any of the things that a lot of people like about the show. Like, people wondered if I came up with the catchphrases, cool, sup, and no proud bop. No, not me. It was scripted. I said the lines. They worked, and they just kept coming back. So those are, uh, like callback uh, dialogue or uh, so I just uh, I try to again embody what it is that the producers had in mind what they put on the page I tried to bring to life and sometimes I was pretty successful at doing that and other times not so successful but I take no credit for the evolution uh, of the character and here's another little tidbit which kind of touches on I think the very first part of it I didn't quite understand what the humor was behind the Waldo character, but I understood what I thought people found entertaining about it. So when I would look at the stuff, I would, stuff by stuff, I mean the dialogue. When I would look at the dialogue that I had to say, I would just kind of shrug my shoulders and be like, okay, I kind of think I know how to deliver this line, but I'm not going to overthink 
what this really means to the character. What is the evolution of the growth of the character? I just kind of went with the flow. With whatever was there, I just, I rock with it. So Urkel's spot was supposed to be like this one in it, one and done, like date episode and turning into like this comedy role. And yes. it helping the whole show evolve. Uh -huh. If it didn't happen for, uh, for this character Urkel, uh -huh. do you think Waldo would have got a bigger spotlight? Basically, Jalil, as we all know, his backstory, a part of his backstory is he had been hired to do a guest as the Steve Urkel character. And it was so phenomenal that they had to have more. And then they had to have more. And as we know, the uh, structure of the show shifted a little bit from him just being an annoyance that came in from time to time to being, again, a very integral part of the chemistry of all of the different characters, in particular his chemistry with the Laura character and his chemistry with uh, Carl Winslow, the father on the show. So when I came about, I think a little later in that same season, I'm thinking like most people, if you get hired as an actor to be a guest on the show, you're just showing up to do your work and hope that you have a good time, you hope that you uh, nail it so that you have good footage, a uh, good tape on yourself, right? So that you can add to your reel. But in your wildest dreams, you don't ever expect that it's going to turn into something more. Um, to answer the second part of the question, do I believe that there would have been more if Steve Urkel hadn't become what he was? And I say no, because had Steve Urkel not come on the show when he did, Family Matters might not have lasted as long as it did. So he played his part in creating such a fun show. And all of us, including myself, we played our parts in making it, I think, a really um, uh, fun, family-friendly, uh, I want to say funny. Is, that, is it okay to say funny? I mean, it is a sitcom. I don't want to, like, pat myself on the back. But people say that they really enjoyed the stories that were covered, and we made them laugh. Uh, but we all played a part. So I think that Waldo's piece of the Family Matters puzzle is exactly what it should have been. It, it doesn't grow or get smaller or bigger based on whether Jalil comes on and, and rocks it as uh, Steve Urkel or not. How I reflect and connect to the character, in some respects it's kind of distant, and in some respects it's very intimate. I'm fortunate that I had, I've forgotten a lot that I did on the show. And when we did Family Matters, that is, they had a reunion. We had a reunion shoot with Entertainment Weekly about two years ago, 2017. And I knew that I was going to see everybody and it was going to be the first time that all of us were going to be together in a really, really long time. And it made me go watch a few of the clips. And that's when it became a little more intimate to me because I'm like, oh wow. I never really took the time to sit down and take this in and enjoy, if you will, the experience of what was going on, playing that character, working with a phenomenal cast, making lifetime friend friendships. I just didn't, it didn't, I'm sort of too in the moment and I'm an overthinker, so sometimes I don't enjoy certain things. So now, in the last couple of years, because we're now in 2019, I have um, a greater appreciation, and that's a part of the intimacy element of what the reflection is, where I'll see stuff and I can now smile, like, because I'm like, wow, we did that. Oh, that was fun. Oh my God, what a great line that they wrote for that character. Oh my God, look what they did for him or her or whatever. Like, I just enjoy the show on a level different than what I did before and again take making that even more personal what I was able to do because as I said I never understood the character but to be able to play something like that just be kind of blase but then now look at it and like hey that's kind of entertaining or hey that's kind of funny like it's, it's different it's a little different now I think wait a minute we about to get photo bomb dear people this is Darius McQuarrie I know what he's doing he's doing what he does He's doing what he does. How you doing, buddy? This is Darius McQuarrie. We all know him as Eddie Winslow. Hi. I just came to say what's up. No, no. Come he on. came to mess with Come me as he bestie. always does. Just saying what's up to my bestie. That's Wait, all. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? What? What? I gotta what deal mean? with this. Awesome, Thank man. you, sir. Awesome. Sir, it's all because of you. I couldn't have done it without you, sir. It's you! It's you! It's you. Hey, 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 wait. You tell you guys about this? 
No, look, no, 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 but no, no, for Dar Darius, come in for a second. I always have to thank Darius because when I first, as I told you about the reconfiguration, I went from being Willie's best friend to Eddie's friend. Oh yeah, when I, I first, got, hold on for a second, this is my moment. Oh yes. So when I first got on the show, this is something people don't know, and I made a post about this, but this might be more. We got video of this now. Darius pulled me aside that very first week that I came back, and he said, man, we got to kill this because I think that us as a dynamic duo can do something on this show. And I've never said this to him in person. Like, he knows this kind of things you kind of know about a person and when you have a relationship with them, but you don't get to say it. So I love this dude because he recognized that there was something there for us. There was a lane that wasn't being explored on the show that I wasn't aware of at the time. And so he was the one that helped us navigate the fact that everyone loves the fact that we are best friends on that show and they love how we ride for each other on that show. I mean, it was this dude. This is my brother from another mother, you guys. Yeah. You guys have seen me say it before I posted. I said he's the king of the one-liners. He's one of the best <laughs> actors I know. I mean, like when I when I have trouble with something and it's not funny to me, this is who I call. So this it dude is. right here is one of the best to ever do it. And you know, it, it is facts. We, we just had that chemistry. It's that magic. We did, brothers. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank hey, you. no, tell them about this though. No. Yo, okay, hey, move hey, on. Hey.